A while ago, YouTube introduced two ads that would consecutively play. I'm not sure how long ago they added that, but all I know was that it was a couple years ago and people were people were furious. They were they were a little mad. People didn't really care after a couple years later. Um, and then recently they started to like, I think what they do is if you have an ad block on, if they detect that you're using an ad blocker, there'll be like a, a warning on the screen saying that we're not going to allow ad blockers. So if you want to continue this video, then please turn ad blocker off and you couldn't watch the video until you turned ad block off. But it's, it's being experimented on and YouTube is trying to crack down on people who use adblock. So that's a little frustrating because I myself use adblock and it helps tremendously, not just with YouTube, but with other websites. That was recently, that was like, I think that was like a week ago, but they're, they're doing a lot of, they're, they're changing a lot that has to do with advertisements and making money. I got tired of standing, so now I'm sitting. Now they're bringing 30 second unskippable ads to YouTube TV. So they're making two changes, two changes to advertisements, but they're specifically on TV. So they, it doesn't affect YouTube on PC or mobile, just specifically on TV. To all of my viewers that watch YouTube on TV, I, 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 feel, I feel bad, I feel bad, I'm sorry. But they're bringing 30 second unskippable ads to TV. It used to be 215 unskippable ads, and now it's one 30 second ad, which I'll get into later. There's another feature, a second feature that YouTube is releasing, and it is a pause experience. And the pause experience is uh, when you pause a video on YouTube TV, an ad will play. Now, I don't think an ad will like fully play out. If, every time you pause a video, it will minimize into a smaller um, window. And there's like some kind of grayish background behind it. On the left side, you got the minimized video. On the right side of the screen, you have an ad being displayed. I feel like it takes up way too much space. There's way too much space that's just being taken up on the screen. Like I think most of the screen is just advertisements or the, the background and just like less than one third of it is the actual video that's paused and minimized. You're able to dismiss the ads, but it's just, I don't know, I feel like at some point it just gets tedious. I don't know how often the ads will display and show up every time you pause a video, but if an ad was displayed every time you pause a video, that would be so annoying. I think they got this, this new ad from Hulu's ad system, which was like released in like 2019. And I looked into it, Hulu's advertisement system, every time you pause the show you're watching, it isn't that bad. There's a small gradient on the right side of your screen that displays an ad. It, it's not intrusive whatsoever. Unlike the YouTube pause experience, they announced this upcoming feature on their blog and they released these features because they were celebrating 150 million people watching their service on TV. This is a celebration towards advertisers. This is an annoyance and the exact opposite of a celebration to the audience. This is a short quote that he said. He said, first, we're bringing 30 second non-skips to YouTube select on TV, on CTV. We know that running longer form creative on the big screen aligns with your objectives and allows for richer storytelling. YouTube Select is now landing over 70% of impressions on TV screens, so we're making it easier for you to use existing assets in front of the most streamed content. This format also seamlessly fits into what viewers already expect and experience on the big screen. Instead of seeing two 15 second ads consecutively, they'll see one 30 second ad. I guess it kind of makes sense with the storytelling. The advertisers can give more details into their products. There might, there's going to be less products show, shown on the screen, so you only have like one single product that's being advertised to you. But here's here's the thing, here's the thing. The intention spans of society is shrinking tremendously. I think from the 2000s, we lost like 25% of our intention spans. It just shrunk incredibly. And that's that mainly has to do with like TikTok and other short form content. The attendance spans of society just like dramatically decreased. So it makes me wonder, wouldn't it just be better to have two 15 second ads? 30 second ads only displays one product and they can get more in depth into it, but we wouldn't care. The audience doesn't care because their attention spans are less than a goldfish. The average person has an attention span of eight seconds and a goldfish has an attention span of nine seconds. In my opinion, I think it's better to have two 15 second ads 
this might be good marketing because we have like super low attention spans. Here's another quote that he said. Next, we're bringing new pause experiences to CTV. So you can drive awareness or action by owning that unique interactive moment when people pause a video. This is seamless for viewers and allows them to learn more about your brand. You only have a limited amount of space to show your products. You don't, you know, you don't, you don't have the whole screen. Again, I don't know how often these ads will pop up every time you pause a video because you can dismiss them, but I'm not sure if every time you pause a video, you're going to have to dismiss an advertisement. But if that is the case, then that could really be an annoyance because you, maybe you might have to take notes on something and you don't have a PC or you don't want to use your phone because the screen's too small. So you use a TV instead to take notes or follow a, a tutorial of some sorts, like a how to build a Minecraft mob grinder and you have to pause the video to see what the build layout looks like and you can't because it's 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 a single pixel on a screen and everything surrounding that one pixel is is a huge advertisement and they, they, try, they try to make it sound cool by saying that you could give the audience like a super cool interactive moment but the most interaction i feel like you could get with these advertisements is scanning qr codes that's like the most thrill that you're gonna get out of an ad scanning <laughs> scanning a qr code but it could also be good because sometimes when you scan qr codes you could get like discounts on a certain item which i think is pretty cool and is definitely a good marketing technique but other than that that's like as interactive as you're gonna get with these ads Again, they're celebrating 150 million people watching YouTube on TV, but I feel like it's mainly benefiting advertisers and is just an annoyance to the audience. It displeases the audience and it benefits the advertisers. I don't, I don't think either of these are good ideas. I don't know why they... The only reason why they switched to cons, two 15 consecutive ads to one 30 second ad is because the advertiser can give more information on their product. I feel like it's just a better marketing technique to have two 15 consecutive ads because you can give more product... You can display more product to the um, audience and their attention spans are also like super low so they're, they're not going to pay attention. Like once, once a 30 second unskippable ad rolls out, they're going to go on their phones and just like watch YouTube shorts until the advertisement is done and the video plays again. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Peace. Next time you look at a girl's butt, just know there's poop inside. What?